Hey guys, it's me, the Twilight Dash, and today I'm going to be talking about the development of Chrysalis from Seasons... What Seasons? Seasons 2 to 9 of French's Magic. So uh, let's get right into it. So Chrysalis and her changelings are ponies, I believe, but... Uh, but they're a different type of ponies, in a sense. But anyways, you know, uh, these type of ponies can, you know, uh, change their appearance and, and, you know, absorb love from other creatures as well. But anyways, you know, uh, in, in the Season 2 finale called The Royal Cantalot Wedding, Chrysalis kidnapped, sorry, like, Chrysalis kidnaps Cadence and impersonates her in order to... Um, you know, like still shine armor's love, and at first Twilight is it's basically on her case, uh, but then she's able to convince everyone to hate on Twilight at one point, uh, but then, uh, but then Twilight and the real Cadence like shows up at the wedding, and and Kate and Chrysalis uh, like, uh, reveals her true form at the wedding, and summons her changelings to take over uh, Cantalop, but then. But then the real Chrysalis, it's like, I'm doing it again. Cadence, sorry. And uh, Shine Armor, uh, Banish her and the Changelings back to the Hive, I guess. So that was season two. She wasn't in season three and four, sadly. But she didn't make an appearance in season five, I believe, in the episode. Sorry, sorry the two-parter, the cutie remark, where in one of the messed up timelines, uh, she, uh, she basically killed uh, she kills Applejack off screen and uh, and takes on her appearance and and, and she also invades Equestria I guess like with the changelings as well in in like in that two part episode. But anyways, at the end of season six, she and the changelings like kidnap Twilight and the gang, Cadence, Shine Armor, Flurry Heart, Luna and Celestia. Uh, but then Vorax uh, and um, Starlight like ruin their plans, and Vorax convinces his people to uh, change their ways and become better creatures, I guess. And then he becomes the leader of the Changelings. But then Chrysalis leaves the Hive at the end, and then see the Nate. She appears in the thirteenth episode, I believe, called. The mean six, where she basically, uh, I can't believe I'm, I can't believe I'm going to be like the key pony here. But she basically joins the Daily Bugle, becomes a photographer like you know, like Peter Parker, takes pictures of the main six ponies, attaches them to, well, well yeah, well, uh, I'm sorry, puts them on a bunch of trees with I don't know magic on them, and yeah, she basically creates her own evil versions of the main six or basically the or basically or basically the albedo uh, equivalent of, of the main six if you don't know who albedo is or say yeah my bad like, or, or my bad like you know what's his name like what's his name like um albedo from men 10 he's basically the evil version of of ben Tennyson. but anyways um uh, she basically orders her clones to go into the uh, ever ever free forest find the tree of harmony and take out the elements of harmony so that she could so that she could so that she could like rule Equestria with it but then uh, uh, but then the clones betray her and she has to kill them off basically and yeah that was season eight in season nine she gets summoned by discord pretend pretending to be grogar along with Sombra, Cozy Glow, and Tyrik. And after um, Sombra is defeated, Cozy Glow, Tyrik, and Chrysalis are forced to work together by Discords. And and in the episode Frenemies, um, they basically steal like Grogar's bell. And at one point, uh, Chrysalis allows Tyrik to steal her magic from her and use it to open and use it to break a hole in the barrier protecting the bell 
but then he returns it to Chrysalis, and then Chrysalis is like, you know, like, I thought you wouldn't return the magic to me, like, and then, and then he goes, and then he goes, like, yeah, I know, but it's so weird. But anyways, after, after episode, uh, another episode, I believe, was, season 9 was called, the Summer Sunset Festival, where the trio basically sneak around Cantalot and try to find a spell to help, like, use the bell properly. And then, and then in episodes 24 to 25, they basically use a bell to drain like Grogar's magic, who's actually like Discord in disguise. And then they use a bell on Celestia and Luna. Uh, but then, uh, uh, but then Twilight and the gang, with the help of every creature in Equestria, are able to defeat uh, the trio and trap them in stone. So yeah, that's the end of uh, Chrysalis there, I'm afraid. But yeah, that was the uh, development, uh, the development of Chrysal, the development of Chrysalis. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.